In the last movie, we got a better understanding of how PHP is processed by the web server based on the file ending and the opening and closing PHP tags. Now we can use those PHP tags actually embed our first PHP and we're going to do that with a classic computer hello world function. Now we have our second.php file that we've already created. I'm going to go ahead and do a save as on that file. And I'm going to save it as hello world.php. Remember, PHP is very important. And I'm going to change the title right here to hello world. Now I'm free to put a PHP code in here and the web server will take that file, process the PHP code that is in there and send the result to the browser. So let's go ahead and do that in here. Now I'm going to put my opening tag and um, closing tag. Okay. And now we're going to use a function called echo. hello world and a semicolon after that and that's going to be the structure of our basic php statement we're going to have what we want to do which in this case is echo the object of that is hello world and the semicolon at the end is going to serve as an instructor separator. It's going to let it know that this is the end of this instruction because remember white space can be thrown in there anywhere. So sometimes those instruction separators are going to be needed to let PHP know that this is the end of a particular statement and now you can move on to the next statement and it's going to complain to us if we don't have the semicolons in there. So the truth, if we're using a one line single command PHP statement in there, it doesn't get confused and it knows that if you leave that semicolon out there, it won't complain. But it's very important and a very good habit and your best interest that if you be in the habit of always, always leaving that semicolon in at the end of every statement, because when you start working with complex PHP code, you're going to be, you're going to need it because it's going to be very important. So I'm going to save the as. I'm going to save it and let's preview it in our browser and check that. Hello world.php. And there we go. It gave hello world back to us. Let's actually view our source code and see view page source. And you see that we have the HTML, the head, title, and everything is okay the way it's supposed to be in a normal html file now the echo disappeared because the function is there to tell the browser that that is what it is echoing okay it don't need to appear right here because it's a command that told the browser that it needs to echo hello world okay so it doesn't need to appear there okay so the echo function works pretty much like the print function but the print function has been known by some people to be a little bit slower than the echo function so we're going to stick with the echo function throughout this course but um for the purpose of this particular video let's try the print function and see how it's going to work okay so after this let's see let's copy this code and paste it in the next line and change the echo to print let's save that and let me join this hello world so that you get a difference between the two let's go back to our browser and refresh now you see that the hello world has been printed twice the first one is by the echo and the second one by the print statement okay so the print and the echo does the same thing okay so whichever one you want to use but i prefer we us using the echo statement throughout this course okay so that is it for now stick to this now follow the video step by step and if you don't get what we got go back to the video watch it fresh calm down do the whole thing step by step and you get it okay so till then see you in the next